Hey, YouTube, how you doing? Shout out to Metro PCS for the Galaxy 6. Just letting me stream live on YouTube right now. Very awesome. Very awesome indeed, yes. Technology can be, you're new to Periscope. Isn't it crazy? Live on Periscope. Tashara, there are so many things you can do, you being what you do for a living on that. Wife says, I'm on YouTube. Thank you so much, beautiful wife of mine, who I love more than the next breath I'll take. Yes, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, man. You know, I came to work today, forgot to comb my hair. <laughs> Get your staff, you gotta learn it too. Cause you know, you can, you can do private periscopes. You know, it has to be shared with the public if you got something private you wanna do between you and your man. Anyway, here we go. Gird your loins, I'm going in. Too good looking not to have a man. Luther Vandross on Smooth R&B 105.7 on your smooth ride home. Tony Scott, time for Tony's tea. Look at some entertainment headlines that grab my attention today. Quincy Brown is Al B. Sure and Kim Porter's son. You know the one Puffy helped raise. Well, apparently he has been cast on Lee Daniels' new show about an all-girl group. Quincy, in an interview, he didn't say much about the show, but he said auditioning for Lee Daniels? Man, ain't no joke. K. Michelle and Toya Wright. Let's spill a little tea about those two because they're beefing on social media. You know, they haven't gotten along since Toya married Memphis uh, back in the day. That was K. Michelle's ex. Toya also blames K. Michelle for her and Memphis' divorce. K. Michelle said he abused her. Toya called him a liar years ago. That's where the beef started. The exchanges are salty, kind of funny, not ready for radio, though. They're both better than that, though. They should just step it up a little bit. Read them, though, if you want to at krb.com. And 50 Cent had his bankruptcy documents made public. His income in December was 38000 but his mortgage is over 35000 His child support is over 24000 And then there's the light bill and all this other stuff. So he's in it for real. He had to supposedly reach into his Merrill Lynch account to make sure everything was covered. That's the tea. I got big game bash tickets to give away coming up at 540 on Smooth R&B 105.7. Harvey, who is Tony Scott? Who is Tony Scott? So... Yes, yes. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the corazons. The corazons. We're over here on YouTube Live. We're on Periscope Live. I got to give me another phone to be on Facebook Live. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Who is Tony Scott? Yes. This part. Watch. He says he loves the cat. Well, listen. Steve Harvey loves me. Listen. You're going to like this dude. I have met him before personally. I love the cat. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> You know, Tashar, you know me and Steve, man, we go back to when you were still in high school, putting him on the radio with me back in the day before he was the king of comedy, right? Steve is the man. He is the man. He is the man. You know, ever since that Miss Universe thing, his TV ratings are like through the roof. Because, <laughs> you know, where do you get the audio for? For what, man? Tony Scott is the man. Tell somebody. Tell, tell, tell somebody. Tony Scott, Tony Scott's the man. <laughs> You know, that uh, I was uh, reading today, I was talking earlier today about how the uh, political the news today could all, be, could all be learned via headlines. You didn't have to read the story. Like Bernie Sanders got um, Secret Service protection. Bernie Sanders may have gotten screwed on the, uh, on the uh, coin flips as far as deciding who won in Iowa. Who decides political races by coin flips these days? Come on, man. Uh, thank you for telling everybody. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, Rick Santorum suspended his campaign. Rand Paul dropped out. Donald Trump's up for a Pulitzer Prize. I don't know what that's about. Who do you pay for that, right? And I uh, understand that he wants to do over in Iowa because he says he got cheated. Man, shut up. <laughs> shut, shut. Man, go sit down somewhere, man. Come on now. Yeah, Rand. You know, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Big what? What was what, that, man? You may, you may have to go, man. Uh, yeah. So, oh, the audio showbiz. I just get it off the internet, man. Just get to wherever sites, different sites and stuff like that. You get it from, you know, record it on your laptop, and then dub it over and stuff like that. So, what's what's up with that? Yes, I think we've broken a record here, y'all. 
we're up to uh yeah let me see lord knows something's rich yeah he's gonna have to go yeah i can see that now because i have no idea what you're talking about man yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna block him man i'll block him you nobody got time for that man so anyway we're up to we're, we're up to 21 whole people man we're setting records over here <laughs> It's all good though, man. You know, fifty cent, man. I didn't know his money problems are that bad. Thirty-eight thousand a year. I mean, thirty-eight thousand he made in the month of December, but his mortgage alone is thirty-five thousand a month, and then his child support is twenty-four thousand a month. Then you got cable, you got your light bill, you got your water bill, you got your trash bill. You got all that stuff going on, man. That's a lot. That's a lot of money in a month, and he's only making thirty-eight thousand. Only being relative, right? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You get that much money, man. And it's just, and, 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 and when is enough enough? I guess it never is. What do I usually do in what in this place? What do you mean in this place? Tell me what you mean. I do a radio show. If that's what you're asking. If if uh, that's not what you're asking, I'm sorry. My network connection is weak on YouTube. Well, we have to work that out, man. But. Uh, Putin cool. Putin what what? But what what yeah, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what that means so oh the studio I'm in Dallas I'm in Dallas Texas was that does that does that answer the question I, I don't know if that I don't know am I answering your question I'm in Dallas I hope that answers your question uh, on the air from seven on uh, this station right here so yes. Yes, yes. So anyway, so uh, what else is going on here? The K. Michelle Toya Wright thing. I mean, you know what? Uh, just stop. Y'all are better than this, man. Y'all, y'all are better than this. Shoot, water deal, shoe deal, record deal. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> you know what? I don't have to worry about traffic because uh, I don't. Uh, I come to work at you know at noon, and by the time I get off at seven. It's uh, it's over with the traffic, so I really don't have to deal with the traffic. But uh, so I'm not I'm not in drive time traffic. So L seven and what's up? You know I don't really have to, to deal with that, which I'm grateful for. I have never really been you know when I was in St. Louis, I either worked mornings or afternoons, so I never was any any traffic. I mean I come to work at you know five in the morning, so I wouldn't I wouldn't know no traffic at five in the morning in St. Louis. So you know and in here, like I said, from the fifties or two thousands. I don't know about any cars from the 50s. Daughter's good. She's at Webster University. She is, uh, you know, daughter number two is at Webster University. She's a junior. Daughter number three is a sophomore in high school. And daughter number one, you know, AJ is uh, going to be 32 next this month. This month. This month. So your sister's going to graduate from Webster? What degree? What uh, what's she graduating? Degree, what degree does she get? And then Olivia loves to dance. She belongs to some dance companies and stuff like that. So she's, you know, she's doing that too. So she's in a dance company. She teaches dance around St. Louis and stuff like that. So that dancing is her life. PR and dance. See, there you go. Well, see, my, my daughter majored in, uh, like, broadcast media production, and she minored in Spanish. I made my, I made my, uh, my two younger daughters, I've made them take Spanish since, Middle school, middle school. They had to take it in middle school and on because I didn't want to be like me. Chelsea Carter. I'll have to write that down and ask her if she knows Chelsea Carter. Her roommate was Chelsea Jenkins up until recently. So, okay, Chelsea Carter. Well, all right, I'm writing it down. I'm writing notes. I'm writing notes. So, yeah, so that's it. And, uh, you know, Maria, my youngest, she's on the uh, varsity tennis team. She was on the varsity tennis team. She was on campus one year. Chelsea did, yeah. Well, Olivia's been there every year. It's been it's been a struggle. <laughs> she's uh was in the dorm first, and then she's on and been in the campus apartment. That's what I'm thinking. But you know what, Maria is like. Act, I, I'd be shocked if she didn't get an academic scholarship, tennis scholarship too. But an academic scholarship would be the whole thing like that. So, uh, but yeah, that's uh. I don't know, people putting up these 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 uh, letters that 
it's not English and I can't read any other language. So I apologize for that. So, uh, Broncos or Panthers? You know what? I want the Panthers to win because they had such a great season, but I want the Broncos to win because of Peyton Manning. But I'm an NFC guy. So, uh, yeah, we're going to clean house after we get done with the broadcast. Uh, so I guess I want the Panthers to win because I'm an NFC guy. I grew up, you know, I grew up a Dallas Cowboy fan. And then, of course, I was a fan of the Rams. So that's the deal on that. So, yeah, Panthers. The, Pan the Panthers have such a great season. They've had, you know, I think they lost like one game, right? Dodge Rams. I, I mean, I like the Rams. I mean, I was a Rams fan in St. Louis. I hate that they moved to L.A., back to L.A. again. But, you know, it is what it is. Will I still be a Ram fan? Ram truck month. I don't know if I'll be a, a, a Ram fan. So, still, I don't know. I've yet to decide. Donald Trump is accusing uh, Ted Cruz of stealing the election, the, the, the votes in the Iowa. Man, stop. <laughs> Just stop. How many countries did you go? I don't know what that means. Do you think the F-150s will win? Just say the Broncos, man. <laughs> Quit making it so difficult. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> but, you know, if Peyton loses and retires anyway, he's still retiring on a high note. You know? Because, I mean, he got to the Super Bowl. Just because he didn't win. I mean, ideally... Uh, no, I don't know any Russian. Ideally, you you know, you want to win you know, the whole thing. But if you don't, it's still, you're still doing good. You know? Still doing fine. So, Just saying. In my humble opinion. All right, we got that right there, so we're going to have to go. Okay, cool. Got a few more minutes. Yet, you know, nothing's Donald Trump's fault. I'm looking at the uh, computer screen to make sure that my song is still playing. Someone asked. And the te television's up there, making sure that everything's uh, I do have Skype. Uh, but I don't use it that often. I just use it for business purposes. Purposes. So, Ted Cruz admitted his people were wrong saying that uh, Ben Carson was out so he got their extra votes but Ben Carson's uh, campaign ended the other day when they had that uh, debate it was over then no I can't say my Skype man it's for business only no I don't have Aesop mob, mob. no I don't, I can't play. I don't even have a song in the studio. I play what they call adult R&B. Mostly mellow stuff. Uh, no, not like Chris Brown. More like Kim. And, uh... Mary J. Blige, Chrisette Michelle, Adele, stuff like that. No, we don't play Kim Kardashian. Yeah, we play chill music, exactly. Yes, that's what, that's what we do. <laughs> chill music, that's a great way to put it, Carolyn. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, yes, Carol, thank you so much. Yes, we play chill music, so... So anybody going to watch the, uh, no, I don't wear cologne. Anybody going to watch the uh, Ber the uh, Bernie Madoff movie tonight? Who's that, Richard Dreyfuss is playing Bernie Madoff tonight on the ABC? I think. No? You're from Cass, I don't even know how to say that. Cass. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, is that how you say that? Kazakhstan? Are you there now in Kazakhstan? In Texas right now, it is exactly 537, soon to be 538 in five seconds. So about 538 uh, central time. So, Oh, you're in Kazakhstan now? Wow. What time is it there? Is it the next day already? Is it like Thursday? <laughs> is it Thursday there? Wow. This internet thing is crazy, isn't it? Just worldwide like that. Thank you for saying that. Appreciate that. They said I'm beautiful.
Yes. <laughs> so my, uh, let's see, my YouTube audience, I'm assuming is still there. Uh, grateful to them. Yeah, I'm going to try and stream, stream live on YouTube on a regular now since I have the phone to do it. And uh, I can, uh, I can, you know, do that and do this too. I'm going to do both. I don't want to, you know, I'm not dissing my Periscope audience at all. So, you actually close YouTube? Uh, my wife sent me a text. She goes, I was on YouTube. So, I'm assuming I still am. Uh, although I can't see it. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what the star what the story is. Thank you. No, thank you. Well, I got 40 seconds, so I got to go because I got to give away these tickets that I promised to give away. All right. So thanks so much. All right. Appreciate it. And uh, you Periscopers, I'll be cleaning the house in just a few minutes. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.